Do you realize that if you have a IRA, 401k, 403b, or 457 plan, that when you die and you leave this money to non-spouse beneficiaries, such as your children or grandchildren, that the biggest recipient of this money is going to be the Internal Revenue Service? What? Let me give you an example. When a spouse dies, there's never any taxes paid between spouses. However, when the second spouse dies, the children inherit this fully taxable money and it's normally done at their taxable rate, not the parents' rate. Well, let me give you an example how this works. Say um, you have a million dollars in a retirement account, okay? And the children's tax rate, and this is normally, it's because they're in their highest earning years, normally when this money gets passed, their tax combined tax rate is 40%. So on the million dollars at 40%, the Internal Revenue Service receives $400,000. That leaves $600,000 to be split between the two children or they receive $300,000 each. Are you okay with the Internal Revenue Service taking most of these gains that you've earned over your lifetime? Now, would you prefer to pay ta taxes while they're on sale now or do you want to wait until they may be full price in the future? Well, with the elimination of the stretch provision that was normally granted to the children or grandchildren and non-spouse beneficiaries in the past, now all this money is going to have to be paid out over a 10-year period and not over their lifetime. Let me ask you this. Would it be more beneficial to take a tax deduction on a small amount of money now and build it into a large amount of money that the Internal Revenue Service can tax at whatever rate they, see, they deem necessary in the future. Well, we already know President Biden has said he's going to raise taxes. The question is how much? This is what happens when you have a deduction taken from your paycheck and sent to an IRA, a 401k, or other taxable retirement account. Or would it make more sense to pay the taxes now on a small amount of money, grow that into a larger amount of money that the Internal Revenue Service can never get their hands on? Most people would like option two. This requires that I ask you one more question. So why are you doing option one when you know option two would be a whole lot more beneficial? Well, most people say, man, I didn't, I had no clue I was doing it and I didn't even realize that. So what if you could take advantage of this strategy? Just curious, now. what if you could establish a strategy that was more beneficial to you and your family than the Internal Revenue Service? When would you want to get started? See, our goal is to help you figure out which is more important, the amount of money that you make or the amount of money that you get to keep. If you want to keep more of your money, stop feeding the Internal Revenue Service needlessly, and you're ready to do something about this, then visit our website at redwoodtaxsaves.com. That's redwoodtaxsaves.com. Let's see what we can do to help you keep more of your money. My name's Mark Mayeski. If you like this video, please hit the like button below so that YouTube will share this with more. And if you really like what you've seen today and you want to receive more of our tips in the future, hit the subscribe button and we'll make sure that you get anything new that comes out. Hey, I look forward to hearing from you and seeing what we can do to keep more of your money in your pocket.